as mentioned in the video regarding running a t-test, uh, we ran the t-test assuming the variances in the two groups were equal. And uh, so you need to determine that by running an f-test to determine whether or not the variances are equal because there's a different t-test to run if you uh, find out the variances are not equal. So this video is all about running an f-test to find out whether or not the variances between your two groups are equal. Looking at the data on the screen, you will remember that this is uh, data from a satisfaction survey uh, and the results of the satisfaction with service from uh, customers who went to store one compared to customers who went to store two. Uh, the data in column one are these responses based on a scale of one to five on how satisfied each customer was with their experience in the store and the same for store two. So we want to find out whether the variances between these two uh, satisfaction uh, variables are equal or not equal, which will determine the t-test that we run. To do this, you uh, get your data organized accordingly, and you go to the uh, upper ribbon here, click the data tab and the data analysis option. If you don't see this data analysis, it needs to be installed. It comes with your Excel, but you need to install it. I have a video on how to do that. Otherwise, click that. And we're going to run a TF test for two sample for variances. Here's all your other options. And you remember our T test, two sample assuming equal variances is here, or the T test assuming unequal variances. And so we're trying to determine if we're going to run a T test, whether or not our variances are equal or not equal, which as you see will determine which test to run. So in this case, we click the F test, two sample variances, click OK. And uh, when you do this, these boxes will not have uh, uh, values in them because you will not have already run the test as I have. So I'm going to black these out. Put my cursor back in variable one range and then highlight cell 1A for our first uh, variable one range and then I'll click hit the shift key, the control key, and the down key and that highlights all of the variables in that column uh, that, that we need and you'll see there that's put right here. Put my cursor in variable two range and then I'll go back up to the top, hit store two, shift key, control key down, and then it puts my values there in variable two. Uh, there are labels, as you saw, store one and store two are my labels, so I'll make sure this box is checked. I'm gonna leave the alpha set at the default of 0.05, and then I'm gonna put the output range on this page. So I'll click this radio button, and put my cursor in this box, and I'll highlight a number of cells in which I want my output to uh, appear. That shows up right there. We're ready to go. Click OK and there's your output. You might remember uh, we have our descriptive uh, statistics here for store one, the average score on the scale of one to five for store one in satisfaction was 3.17 and the average score for store two was 2.875. One thing to be sure of after you run the test is whether the very uh, the uh, size of your variances uh, variances for group one need to be greater than variance for group two if it's the other way around then you need to run the test again switching the groups uh, so that store two would be in this column and store one would be in this column it has to do with the, the ratio that's produced between uh, these two variances so in this case we're okay the variance for uh, group one is greater than variance for group two. Therefore, we can have confidence that the output uh, will give us uh, accurate information. Uh, the values that we're most interested in with this F test, though, are the F value here, 0 .0, 1.09, and the F critical one tail value, 1.32. And so to interpret this data, remember we wanted to find out whether or not the variances were equal or not equal. If the F value, is less than the F critical value, then the variances are equal, as it is in this case. So that determines which t-test we would run. We would run the t-test assuming variances are equal, because the F value is less than the F critical value. If the F value was greater than the F critical value, then we would run the t-test assuming variances are not equal. 